everyone. My name is Hal, Quail Studios Guitar. This is. Thanks for being here. Put your name in here or say something to me. Uh, make a comment. I'd really like to hear from you. Also, if you have any questions. Now, we're going to talk about uh, figuring out songs, uh, an ear training example here, because um, Tim, who got in touch with me, said, hey, have you ever done any Rooney songs? And uh, I'm like, who's Rooney? <laughs> R-O-O-N-E-Y, I think it is. Um, yeah, that's it. Rooney, they were from Los Angeles. Los Angeles area. And I'd never heard of them before until just a few days ago. So he said, you know, can you do any of those songs? And I was thinking, you know, I've never heard of them. I wonder if anybody else has ever heard of them. Let's just find out what they're about. And so I looked up some of their videos and I was like, wow, they're pretty good actually. And I wonder why they never made it. That's okay. It's all right. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, uh, people don't get popular in their lifetime. Sometimes they have to die to become popular or something like that. And we know that about certain people. Here, I gotta turn this off here. Let me just uh, get rid of my uh, my phone. Anyway, um, so we're going to look at this. I'm going to share my screen with you. I'm going to show you exactly what I go through when I start figuring out a song. And I spent some time on this and watched a couple things. And we'll just talk about how I did it. First of all, one of the things I like to do is tune my guitar. Standard tuning. Yeah, it's a little flat. I don't know how long this uh, live stream is going to last, honestly. We're just going to go through this as quickly as we can. All right, here we go. So what I did was I looked up some videos, and this is what I found. I'm going to share my screen right now. We're having a fake... We're having a casting of actors and is it lots of interpretive stage? So this is what I found out. I found this uh, video of uh, it says Rooney Pop Stars. Um, this is uh, the song that Tim would like to know about because he couldn't find anything about it. So I pulled up this video. This is the music video. It was uploaded in 2008. And so let's uh, see what it sounds like. Now it's got it's kind of weird because it's got some people dancing and like they're in an interview or something like that, you know. Um, but it's got the band interspersed in this. So let's listen to it. Now, first of all, okay, we're hearing that note. It's a D sharp or an E flat. Did you see that? When uh, the main guitarist goes right, right there, you'll notice that he goes to an E chord, but that's not an E that he's playing. That's a, it's an E flat. So I, I'm guessing they're probably an E flat tuning. So let's turn it down to E flat, because I bet they're an E flat. So it looks like. So this is the next thing I do. I go okay going to get in the same tuning as these guys. Got to stretch these strings a little bit. I'll fine tune these as we go along here. All right, let's see what it sounds like. Yeah, now when I play the E chord, it goes right along with it, doesn't it? There's an E chord. Now what you want to listen for is you want to listen for the bass note. Because, you know, you can't see my hand. You can't see what I'm doing. I'm going to move that screen up. There. Sorry about that. 
<laughs> I didn't realize it. I've got my uh, my monitor over here so I can see what's going on. Okay, so we've got this E chord. You'll notice that we just got random people on the screen here. And then we had this. Oops. Okay, so the next three notes in the bass are C, D, and E. Now this is really, it's really B, D flat, and E flat, right? But we're just gonna call it the way it looks on the guitar. C, D, and E, okay, here we go. Now when I'm watching the bass here, I can see that he's playing a C and a D, but he's, he's tuned flat, you know, E flat tuning. One more time. You said bye 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 goodbye. Well, I don't want to be with you. There, see that? He's got a D chord right there. So we can, we can confirm exactly what's going on here. What's that chord? G chord. An e. Anyway, so I listened to this uh, video, kind of figured it out generally where the chords are going. Then I looked at some other videos. Let's look at another one. This is from 2017. So um, let's see. This is the Urban Lounge in Salt Lake City. Okay, all of a sudden, this, what they were doing before doesn't hold up. All of a sudden, it's a fret higher, right? So what are they doing here? I don't know. Let's find out. Okay, but I'm looking at that lead guitar player on the right, left-hand side there. Okay, but he's not in this position. He's not in the fifth position. Not in the sixth position, excuse me. So he's in a different tuning. Okay, so I'm hearing, I'm hearing <laughs> a D note right there. And okay, so I think what they are, they're in standard tuning, playing in D. The other one was in E flat tuning, playing in E. You know what I mean by playing in E? Like the key of E? Okay. So this is a different, you know, the album is E flat tuning, playing in E. This one is a live version in 2017, standard tuning, playing in D. Let's go to another video. For Rooney. Okay, this is Carson Daly 2004. This is 2004. Um, we're going to come back to this one. Okay, this is in Austin in 2017. Th they're playing this one in D also. And they're in standard tuning. Okay, let's go to that last one. Okay, now this one is... Okay, this is different. Now the keyboard is playing this, not the guitar.
Now, this is a different lineup. This is 2004. The first um, video that we saw, we saw two guitars, a bass, um, a keyboard, and you know, the lead singer was playing guitar. This one, the lead singer is not playing guitar. Why isn't he playing guitar? I don't know. There's one guitar, one bass, keyboards, and drums, which is fantastic. It's really great. Okay, and that low note, I'm not hearing an E. They're tuned down, I think. He's hitting a D there. Okay, so. Okay, so instead of playing E, right, and going up to E, C, D, E, they're playing in D and going B flat, C, D. All right, those are the chords. I'm going to look at my chat, see if anybody's talked to me. To me, I can't see the chat. Hello, Dean, sweltering in Hurricane. Okay, fantastic. All right, what are we doing now? Well, I'm figuring out Rooney. In case you guys are late, um, we're figuring out the song Rooney, excuse me, a song called Pop Stars by Rooney. And I'm using this because, um, this particular uh, example, because I had never heard this song before a few days ago. So that's a good, you know, starting at one point and saying, let's figure out a song, let's see what happens. And so I'm giving you this example. You know, if you can't hear, like if you can't hear the bass, somebody playing a bass note, uh, it's a good idea for you to uh, to practice that, to listen to a note. Uh, so I'm going to I'm going to pull up those notes right there. Now, if you can't hear this, if you're listening on a phone, put headphones on because you'll be able to hear the bass notes. That's why I've got headphones on. Because when I'm using small speakers or something, I can't hear everything. So the bass notes are really, really important. You've got to hear the bass notes so you can figure out the chords. Because a lot of times, if you're playing a D bass note, then it might be a D chord. Especially at the beginning of the song like this, right? So you got to figure out your bass notes. Bass note, B flat, C, D. Now I want to show you something. What's interesting about this is that when you're playing in the key, when you're playing a D chord, like that, you can play it here. Those are exactly the same notes. Those are exactly the same notes just depends on what you want it to sound like. Do you want it, these shorter strings? Do you want these notes? Do you want these notes? Same exact notes. So it doesn't really matter where you play them. All right, so, you know, this recording, and I, let me put it back on the screen. This recording here at Carson Daly is my favorite. I listened to all four of these recordings um, I kind of went through everything, and uh, this is what I found. This this one is really good. I love the vocal. Um, I love what the electric guitar player does here. Um, if you look up Rooney on Wikipedia, you'll find you know former members of the band and current members of the band, and there's not a lot of um, information on every member of the band. Uh, but what we're really talking about here um, is is how to figure out these songs. So. We figured out it's in D. I like this particular version the best. Um, I don't really like it in E so well. I like it played in D, E flat tuning. I really like it there. So here we are. Let's go back to...
Okay, so this is really interesting because we're in the key of D. Let me pull up another thing here on this screen. Not that. Right here, if you look at the key of D, you'll notice I, I've got my cursor. Let's see. Let's see. You don't. You can't see my cursor because that's that's on my screen. Okay, but the key of D, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp diminished, and D. Now let's look at something else. All right, I wrote out the key of D. You can see it says D, E minor, F sharp minor, G, A, B minor, C sharp diminished, and D. That's the top line. It says one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then one. D is your one chord, E minor is your two chord, F sharp minor is your three chord, G is your four chord, A is your five chord, B minor is your six chord, C sharp diminished, where's that at? And then D is your one chord. That's the normal chords in this uh, in this key, but you'll notice that what I have below, you'll notice that I, on A is five, B flat is six. That's called a lowered six. C is a lowered seven, and then D would be a one. And they're using right here at the beginning. They're using that D. Remember hearing me talk about cadences before? Well, this is an alternate cadence. Instead of going, you know, G A D, which would be a four five one progression, this is a six seven lowered six lowered seven one progression. Okay. So it's a different kind of a progression. Normally, when we hear a lowered six lowered seven, it goes to a minor chord. Something like that, right? That sounds a little bit like stairway. I'm just using the D minor. That's not how you play it, it's up here. Right? F, G, A minor. Remember, we're half step down, we're in E flat tuning on this song. So, this is the chord progression B flat, C, D. Very interesting. Let's go back to. Uh, the Rooney song. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't wanna be with you. So, B flat, C, where's it going next? It's going to F. To a B flat. To a D, it went from B F to B flat, which is totally out of the key. Well, is it out of the key? F to B flat. Yeah, F isn't even in this key. It's F sharp minor. So F would be the, you know, well, it, yeah. It's kind of like we're in the key of B, uh, F for a minute. We go F, B flat. It'd be like a one chord going to a four chord back to a one chord. And then it goes back to D. Right there. D. Now, what is this? There it goes, B flat. This is like a pre chorus or something. Now you'll notice that the it, you can hear it. You got the B flat chord and the bass note goes down to an A, but it doesn't sound like the chord changes. So it sounds like a B flat going to B flat with an A and then to a 
to a C chord. Oh, I love that guitar part. He's not just staying on a C chord. He's doing something different. Let's listen to that again. Okay, this is what I figured out. Something like this. It goes... Let's see, it goes... Something like that. Well, that... I think the bass note stays on a C. Yeah, and then he goes to a B flat C. So he's holding on that, uh, what did I say it was? <laughs> oh, the C note. Back to a D, and this is the chorus. Okay, so he's, these are the words of the pop stars. Now, in the original recording, it just sounds like they hold that D chord. But in this recording, it sounds really cool because it sounds like they do this. That little thing right there, it's like a diminished note. And then that, the bass holds that D. Hold that, back to D. C. Okay, and now we're doing something we've never done before. E minor to A. Never done this before. E minor. Whoa, okay, okay. Then it's a different chord there. Okay, they just did a G, Killers of Rock and Roll. E minor, G, A, D. And you can hear that keyboard going. Right? And the guitar is doing feedback. You look, watch him over there on the right hand side. Hear it? Right there. He's down there by his amp, making it feedback. Verse 2. Hey, do, do, whatever the chords are. All right, let's go through verse 2. B flat, C, D. B flat, C, D. B flat, C, F. B flat, F. Okay, this is the pre-chorus again. Bum, 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 bum. C. Chorus. Uh-oh. He doesn't do that chorus. So the first time he does this, words of the pop star, these are the words, goes down to a C chord, E minor, A, E minor, G, A, what is that chord, B flat, C, D, B flat, C, D. So it's interesting, the second chorus, killers of rock and roll. First time that's what they did, and then they went back into the verse. This time they get killers of rock and roll, and then he went. Wait, wait, did he do the D? B 
B flat. So he did G A. Instead of going to D, he went right to B flat, C, D. That's what they did. That's what they played. And then they did that B flat C D again. B flat C. They went to the B flat F to B flat back to F. This is like the pre-chorus. B flat with an A bass. That's the C chord, and it, the electric guitar is going. Again. Okay, this sounds like. It's in the keyboard now. These are the words of the pop stars. Or it could be this. They are the words of the pop stars. Something like that. You got this D chord, and then you got this like. diminished chord. It's a diminished chord. It's like a G diminished with a, a D flat in the bass. And then down to E, a G, right there with the D bass. Doing the chorus again. D, C, E minor, A, E minor, G, A, D, B flat, C, D. Now was the end. I really like this version. All right, let's go back and see. Let me see if I've got any comments. Internet back on, better connection now. Was there a problem? I guess there was a problem. Don't know what happened. Maybe uh, maybe when I was playing that video, maybe it didn't work very well. I don't know. Anyway. I'm looking at this and seeing what's going on here. All right. I'm just looking at my, my screen here and just trying to figure out, am I streaming or not? <laughs> uh, apparently something happened to the internet or something happened and I'm looking at, uh, yeah, it looks like it's okay. I'll have to go back and watch this. Just at my house. Oh, Gene says just at my, uh, my house. Okay, that's fine. Well, thank you for being here. Um, before we go, Sometimes I say this like five minutes before I actually stop, right? I say, thank you for being here, and then people click out. Oh, I guess he's done. Click. All right. So I'll probably do a video on how to play this song better. Um, Tim wanted to know if, uh, if he could have an acoustic version of this song because he couldn't find one. Let's look at, uh, let's look at what they have on Ultimate Guitar. I guess I had that, that screen. <laughs> you could see my uh, my streaming thing. Okay, Pop Stars by Tab by Rooney. There's one version. Okay, one version. And it says standard tuning, intro lead. Uh, okay, this is interesting. It says D sharp, B, C sharp. You know what I think is going on here? I think this person wrote out the exact notes in standard tuning, what they were doing in the original recording. That's what it looks like. So what we did was we tuned down to E flat tuning, 
and we figured out what were the chords they were actually playing on the guitar. And uh, so this one, I mean, it looks like to me, yeah, these chords, these chords are correct. Uh, I, I haven't checked them all out, obviously, um, but what happens is that if you're in standard tuning, this isn't the way they play it, uh, although it's going to sound right. So what you want to do is you want to go down half step, tune down half step. Now, of course, after you figure out the song, you can tune it any way you want to, right? You can do standard tuning and play it, and no one will know the difference. But if you're trying to play along with the song, you need to be able to uh, get it into a tuning that will match with what you're doing. So anyway, yeah, I ran standard tuning and listened to the original recording, which they played it in E, but I didn't really like that very much. I did like the D version. In fact, all the videos that we saw, I'm just going to retune my guitar really quick here. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, I liked playing it in D better. Right? Instead of in E. Hey, babe. Now that. Why did they change it? Why did they record it in one way and then change it later? And actually play it in standard tuning sometimes in D or in E flat tuning sometimes? I don't know. You know, we experiment as we go along. And that's what you do. And that's what you can do. You can experiment and say, wow, you know, that doesn't fit my voice. I think I'll tune down a half step. Wow, that doesn't fit my voice. I think I'll change keys. All right, so I hope this helps. Let's get that off the screen. Thank you for being here. Um, I hope this was interesting. Let me look and see if I have any uh, comments. Am I still streaming? I don't know if I'm still streaming. Did I shut it down? I think I did. This is amazing, loving it. Okay, very good. I'm glad you are loving it. Thank you. Okay. Well, thanks for coming here, you guys. Hey, give me a like if you like this video. I only have two likes on here, I can see. There's been 50 views, as far as I can tell. Two concurrent viewers. So what happened to everybody else? They drop off? Yes, you are. Yes, I am what? <laughs> hey, Michael. How you doing? John, how you doing? Let's see. Who else? You're still on. Okay. Excellent. Yeah, because you know what? I accidentally uh, clicked out and went to a different uh, screen, and I guess it didn't kick me out, which is good. So... Anybody have any questions? Write them down right now. I'll wait, you know, a few seconds because it takes a few seconds for you to actually get this because it's probably like 20 seconds behind what I actually say. So I'm going to wait just for a second. I have to say that um, this song by Rooney um, is not my favorite that they played, uh, but as I listen to it over and over and over, it's just been interesting to listen to it and to uh, really get to know it, and I like it even more. You got a great voice. Thank you. Would you play a little differently acoustically compared to electrically? Would you play it a little different? Uh, let's see. Let me look here. Let me get out my, uh, my acoustic guitar just for a second. Okay, hold on. Let me turn this off. Be right back, okay? Hold on. Well, you know what? One of the reasons I use an electric guitar to figure it out... Mm -hmm. Let's see, where's my... I'm going to plug my uh, acoustic guitar in here, too, because I have a pickup in this guitar.
I tell you what, I will, uh, let me just check my tuning because this has been in my uh, storage room humidifying. Okay, this is standard tuning. I'm not going to worry about E flat tuning for the moment. Let's just check it out because this is, I have never picked up this song, I mean, picked up the guitar to play this song on an acoustic guitar before, so let's see what happens. Okay, I got it turned up. Yeah, it's a little better. thinking about what if I played it in drop D now the chords that would actually affect it the B flat C D won't be a fraud problem the F I'd have to do this. Because I'd have to do... Let me see my bar chord. I'd have to do something like that because my bass note would be up two frets. Okay? So I'd have to learn how to play my, my bar chord like this. Right? Um, what I'm doing is I'm playing third fret on E string and then I'm muting uh, that A string or I could play just a power chord like this so this one would be like That's what I was thinking. This is the reason why I was thinking it would be cool on drop D tuning, because the beginning of the chorus, um, the the bass plays this low D note and holds the D note, right? Right, right there. But when you're not, when you don't have drop D, you can't really do that really low note on a guitar, single guitar. Sounds to me like it has that kind of a, a thing right there um, on the chorus where you have this D chord. Right? And then it has this like diminished chord with that D bass. And then it goes to a, a G chord with a D bass. Maybe I could do it like this. I don't really like those high notes. Now E minor. <laughs> okay, you could do it that way. Cause E minor. You ever play see me play my A chord like this? Right, with one finger? On this drop D tuning, I'm actually playing with one finger. I'm playing the E string, second fret, A string, second fret, D string, second fret. And then the open strings, G B E. Now, your G chord, you can't play it like this because that note's an F now. So you got to play something like this, maybe an open string chord. A, and then to D. And you know why I like this? that chord right there, and like when you do the bar chord, right? Like this. These notes, 
are the same notes as these. So those open strings, D string, G string, B string, are the same as right there when you're playing your bar chord. Bum, bum, bum. And so this chord right here, sound, except for the open sound, it sounds a lot of a lot of changes from standard though. Yeah, a few, yeah, Dermot, sounds beautiful on acoustic, drop D out. Yeah, I, <laughs> you know, this is the first time I tried it. So this is, uh, yeah, I do like it, it's kind of cool. I'm glad, I'm glad for your input, thank you very much. Thank you, Dermot, thank you, Jeb, PHX Zeno. <laughs> I learned a lot of songs by ear by Johnny Cash. Yeah, yeah. What brand of that acoustic is it? Michael asks. Looks awesome. Yeah, thank you very much. You know, after I bought this guitar, someone said to me, oh, that's a cool looking guitar. And I went, it is? Because I didn't really look at the guitar when I bought it. I mean, I, I listened to it more than anything else. I didn't really realize it had this abalone shell all along here. And, you know, it, it was cool. This is a... Um, a Blue Ridge BR73. It's got a solid top, laminated back and sides. And, you know, when I found out it had laminated back and sides, I was thinking, well, maybe it doesn't matter because it sounds so awesome. Oops, sorry. Right? Now, I am putting this through an equalizer and boosting the mids just a little teeny bit. And I'm putting it through a Hall of Fame 2 TC Electronic reverb, you know, because that's why you get that nice sound. These strings are a little bit old. They're like two weeks old. Um, so they're up for maybe another uh, change one of these days, a week or two. Um, somebody says, they look like they're from uh, Japan or something. Watching your live for the very first time. Very comfortable to hear your guitar. Thank you. Yeah, appreciate your, appreciate your input there. So yeah, BR73, I like it. It's it's a triple lot size. The Dreadnought size is a little too big for me. I like the triple lot size. I'm in love with this one now. I've got a Dreadnought right back there. I don't know if you can see it. It's in back of me. Right there. It's right in back of me. It's a Fender Dreadnought. Um, there's a story behind that. I think I have uh, a video on that and it's in Tales of My Guitars. Anyway, thanks for being here. So, what do you think? I love it. I guess you just have to hunt and peck for the right notes. What do you mean, hunt and peck for the right notes? Well, you know, one of the things I do, let's talk about that, Jeb. One of the things I do is when I can't figure out the notes, for instance, when I'm, I'm listening to uh, a video and I'm going, what are these notes? You know, like when I'm going. Right, you notice I did that. I figured that out today earlier, and I'll show you what I did. Okay, I recorded it, and then I put it on uh, Reaper. Let me put Reaper over here. Reaper is a DAW. And if you don't know what a DAW is, it's a di digital audio workstation for those of you who may not understand what DAW means. It's it's like 60 bucks and that's it. I love it. It is so good. And you can, um, now I don't get paid from Reaper to do this. Uh, you can get like 60 days free. You download it, fully functional. After 60 days, if you don't buy it, it becomes, you know, in, inoperable. But I used it heavy for 60 days, and I said, I'm buying this thing. It's really, it's worth it. So let's blow this up and show you what I'm doing here. So what I did was I put this in here. Let's see if we can... Hear that? So this part right here, right there, that's the, the part that I figured out. And it goes by really quick. So 
So what I did was I went down to, now I'm pointing at it right there. You see it says toggle repeat. I'm going to toggle repeat and you'll see that I highlighted this section right here. Watch what happens when I highlight it. So what I do Oops. Hold on. So what I do is I just um Oops. So right there. Okay, I'm not in drop D tuning. I mean, I'm not in uh, E flat tuning, so it's difficult to do it now, but this is how I figured it out. I looped a little section of it, and then I figured out the notes, and I looped another little section, the next section, and I figured out those notes, and I went one section at a time. So I put it in this DAW, and what's really cool about Reaper, too, there's a guy named Kenny Joya um, on YouTube, and he's got, like, so many tutorials about Reaper. He's fantastic. And that's one thing I like about Reaper, too. There's a really good community where you can, if you don't know how to, you know, run it, you just look it up, <laughs> and people will help you. So I didn't, um, I didn't hunt and pack, really. What I did was I, um, I really looked up what was going on uh, and listened to it and made a recording of it and then looped it and that kind of stuff, stuff for the things that I couldn't hear. All right, um, let's see, what does he say? Jeb, like for the lead guitar single notes, not chords. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. Well, you know, hunt and peck. Now, when your ear is more developed, Jeb, when you can develop your ear, it's faster, you know. Um, you know, Rick Beato talks about this, and he has a course where you can actually, you know, get his uh, course to teach you how to learn to listen, but you know what I did? When I was a kid, when I was like 14 years old, I wanted to learn some songs, and I went down to the music store, and, uh, you know, it was a book was like 10 bucks, 12 bucks, and, uh, you know, I made a $1.50 an hour, and I couldn't afford, I didn't want to pay $12 for a book for just one song, so I started to figure it out, and also, um, when I learned a little bit about scales and how they work in chords and what chords go in which scales, like we did today, if you're in the key of D, you know, G, A, and D are main chords, and it's in this song, right? Now the B flat, C, D, that's a little more tricky because those are alternate chords, that uh, lowered six, lowered seven, and so sometimes you just have to hunt and peck for those. But if you do it enough, if you spend some time, then... Uh, then you can learn how to do it, and it does take time. Let's see what Dermot says. Thanks for the And I Love Her video with Levi. You're welcome. Yeah, we worked on that um, over a few months. Uh, what happened was that Levi would come over on Sunday. Uh, I'll, I'll talk to you. Yeah, just a minute. Uh, we went. He came over on Sunday like every week, and we would play it for, you know, 20 minutes or something. And then there was a few weeks when he was out of town or something, or I couldn't get together with him. And it had been like a month. And then we got together last weekend, and I went over to his house, and uh, we just sat there and, and played it for a while. And he, it was kind of discouraging. I actually have <laughs> the outtakes to that. He was getting a little discouraged because he, he hadn't practiced it for a month. And... Um, so we just hammered it for a while, and then we finally got a take that we really liked, and, and that's what we came up with. Okay, sounds taking so long time to complete one song. You know, at the beginning, when I first started learning how to listen very carefully to chords, and when I heard a chord, right, and then I would try to match it, it took me a couple of hours to figure out one song or part of one song. Now I can usually figure out a song you know, before the song is over. Like if it's a three minute song, I've got most of the chords, you know, in two minutes. And uh, especially when a, a song like this, you've got, you know, a chorus that happens several times, you've got verse that happens several times. But then when you go back and listen very carefully, you find 
some really interesting things, like when I did this, right? I didn't realize that that was doing that until I listened to another recording, and I liked that one. Uh, and then this part right here, right? I didn't realize that until I had listened to the live recording several times, and all of a sudden I was thinking, you know, I thought it was a C chord. Right? And all of a sudden I hear this, you know, on the electric guitar, and I'm like, oh, wait, 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 wait. So I had to go back and work on that for a while. And I literally spent several hours on this song, figuring it out, listening to it, trying different things, trying tunings, trying what to do. And then you guys come to me and you say, hey, can you help me figure out this song? And if I've never heard it before, I literally spend hours on it. Now, if I wanted to write this out, it's going to take me another half hour to write it out in the tabs. Well, no, in the lead sheet. And then if you want tabs, that's going to take another few hours to do tabs. And that's why, hey, cool, <laughs> Dermot, I'm learning it myself now. That's why I ask for support on Patreon or on Subscribestar or a donation on PayPal because, you know, the ad revenue here on YouTube, I get maybe a dollar for every thousand views. So, so far I've gotten 69 views, you know, which is like six cents on this particular video. But if you see a video that has, you know, 10,000 views, hey, I've made 10 bucks on it. That's cool, huh? Yeah. Well, anyway, I have like 700 and something, I don't know how many it is, over 750 videos on my channel. Dermot, really need two guitars, one playing George's lead you're talking about, um, oh, I see, you're talking about, uh, and I love her. Yeah, George's lead. You know, Dermot, in my book, I actually have George's lead written out in tab. Get my book. I ask $10 on PayPal, link in the description, make a $10 donation, I'll send you my book. It's got like over 80 songs in it. I don't remember, I haven't added, uh, added it up for a while. I've got a ton of things there. In fact, watch, I'll show you before I go. Don't go away. Here's a copy of my book, okay? All right, so I'm going to show you. We're going to go down to And I Love Her. It's on page 16 or 17. Here's the lead sheet. This is the lead sheet to the album version. Now, I put it capo on second fret, put it in E, e minor because it's easier to play, especially with one guitar. <laughs> Now the next verse, excuse me, the next one is in the key of E minor alternate version because there's no key change. In the original version there's a key change, right? But I take out the key change when I'm playing solo because it's really hard to play with a key change. And then here is, and I love her, this is on page, what page is that, 19. So this is George's part. <laughs> And then the chords are um, John's part, you know. Sorry. Anyway, I, I, I'm not used to that one because this is the actual key on the album version. So there's all the uh, all the tab for you. exactly what George George plays the whole time. All right. Yeah, give my book. Thank you for being here. All right. I'm going to go. What's a lot of effort? Yeah. Yeah, it is a lot of effort. I've been teaching for a long time, guys. I've been teaching for over 30 years. 
I love it. It's my passion. Thanks for being here. Get my book. Support me, please. When you support, when you get my book, right? If I had a thousand people giving me, uh, oh, let's say $5 a month, I could do this full time. No problem. Wouldn't have to teach. I love teaching though. I love teaching, you know, online and I love teaching local students too, which I do. All right. I'm going to go. I'm going to go hang out a little bit with a couple of people. Um, maybe we've been here for a long time. How long have we been on this, uh, live stream? This is the longest live stream I've ever done. Let's see. I don't know. I can't see how many minutes I've been on here. I'll figure it out. Anyway, talk to you later. I'm going to go. Thanks. Bye. That's me playing the chords to this particular song.